Professor Layton once said, Every puzzle has an answer. But these puzzles make him seem sadistic. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our list for the top 10 hardest video game puzzles. For this list, we're looking at puzzles in video games that were so hard to complete, they left us pulling our hair out in frustration. In order to be eligible, the puzzles must be from a major game release, and that means no user-created games, maps, etc. It must also be one specific puzzle from the game, so no riddles from the Arkham games or the infamous Water Temple from Ocarina of Time, as those are a collection of puzzles. And finally, as usual, one puzzle per franchise. I have something that will be of great use to you, but first, Sir Graham, you must answer this riddle. Number 10, the cigar wrapper. Ripley's Believe It or Not, the riddle of Master Lou. I know I don't smoke, but cigarettes certainly make you look sophisticated. I wonder if they're as good for your health as the scientists claim. This game, based on the famous Ripley's books and attractions, sees you as Ripley himself as he travels the world. The chariot isn't a sculpture, it looks real. In this specific puzzle, a guard to a temple asks you for a ring in order to gain entrance. That's an interesting ring you're wearing. It is the ring of the hidden way. Only those of the temple may wear it. After looking around forever and not finding one, you have to figure out to take the cigar from your inventory and pop off the cigar band and use that as a ring. It's both challenging and frustrating due to the fact that the game never hints at the possibility that you could just fake it. As you see, I'm a member of the temple. You may pass. Number nine, Shakespeare's stanzas. Silent Hill 3. <laughs> The Silent Hill series are a bunch of terrifying games, but this puzzle in the third swapped our fear for frustration, just like the piano puzzle from the original. The player must organize Shakespeare books in order to be given a clue. On the hardest difficulty, the clues are written in Shakespearean English and reference the plays, and the player has to figure out which play the clue is referring to. Not only that, but specific clues reference the need to change numbers from the completed order. It's a confusing mess. Ah! Number eight, the goat puzzle. Broken sword, the shadow of the Templars. The animal fixed on me with an evil glare. Behind the malice and resentment, there was a cool intelligence. As an American tourist unraveling a conspiracy in Paris, you come across a goat blocking the entrance to a castle. Attempts to walk past him only end in a headbutting. <laughs> the solution is simple. Allow him to headbutt you. No, really. Then get up quicker than usual, run to a piece of farm machinery, and then have him attempt to butt you again, only to get tangled in the machinery, allowing you to pass. Technically, it's easy, but it's also not very intuitive, because you're left to assume that having him hit you is a failure. The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. Number seven, the Babblefish Puzzle. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Babelfish is small, yellow, leech-like, and probably the oddest thing in the universe. We're going way back for this one. Based on the book series of the same name, this text adventure game has you traveling the universe and getting stuck on a very serious puzzle. Usually, the fish dispenses but slips away under the drain. No worries, all you need to do is put a towel over the drain. We hope you remember to bring one. Uh -huh. towel. Then, steal a character's satchel and put it in front of the panel. After that, you put some junk mail on the satchel and then press the dispenser. This was so notoriously hard, Infocom, who designed the game, sold t-shirts that read, I got the Babblefish. The practical upshot of which is that if you stick one in your ear, you instantly understand anything said to you in any language. Number six, chamber 18, portal. Portal, a game about solving puzzles using a gun to create two portals to travel through, is rife with challenging puzzles, but Chamber 18 is the worst. It's an overall challenging chamber, full of sections not fit to shoot, turrets that you have to dispose of, ledge jumping, and platform riding. Basically, everything which goes into the puzzle game has gone into this chamber. What makes it even worse are the timed switch sections that keep you on your toes. <laughs> Number five, the water sample. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. 
the third title in the classic series finds Jill Valentine wandering through Raccoon City attempting to avoid the nemesis, but her greatest challenge might be this brain teaser. The puzzle is like reverse Tetris, in which the player has to arrange the colored cubes in order to complete a specific combination of wave ranges. It's difficult due to the constant back and forth between wave ranges and the fact that the result is different for each playthrough. The annoying beeping sound throughout the puzzle really doesn't help either. Number 4. The Rubber Ducky Puzzle – The Longest Journey I know that duck. Bon voyage, ducky! In this puzzle from the cult classic Point and Click Adventure, you need to recover a dropped key from a subway rail. So what do you do? Scatter crumbs from an apparent window so a seagull will peck a rubber duck into the canal below, causing it to flow down the river. Then, locate the duck, tie a line to a clamp, put it through the keyhole, reinflate the duck, then position it like a fishing line over the key so the duck deflates and traps the key. It's really insane when you think about it. Number 3. The Black Monolith – Fez This platforming slash puzzle game brought out a community of players that has rarely been seen in any other video game. Okay. First, you have to stand in a specific area of the level and input a set of buttons to make the monolith appear. Then, the player has to input another specific set of buttons in order to complete the puzzle. The buttons are so obscure and complex that many players simply believed it to be unsolvable, and it was only figured out with a massive coordinated effort from the community. Number 2. The Mustache – Gabriel Knight 3 The mustache should help disguise the obvious disparity between his face and mine. This game, about an infant kidnapped from a Scottish family of nobles, has one of the most frustrating and nonsensical puzzles in all of gaming. In order to take a reserved motorcycle, the player has to impersonate the man with the reservation by resembling the picture in his passport. This leads to finding clothes, but the infamous part is where you have to put tape on a hole in a door, spray a cat, have it run into the tape, and then steal the hair off of said tape to make a fake mustache. Why you couldn't just draw one on your face with a sharpie is beyond me. Ah, Monsieur Mosley, yes, I have a reservation for you. One moment. Before we unveil our top pick, let's take a look at a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Name that gnome, King's Quest. Now what in the world would you do with a gnome? The Knight Graham is stopped by a gnome and forced to guess his name. Some people figure that the gnome was Rumpelstiltskin, but a clue urges players to think backwards. So naturally, spelling it backwards meant his name should be whatever the hell that is backwards, right? As a reward for your sharp intellect, here are some beans. Well, actually, no. The alphabet has to be reversed, not the letters, meaning A is Z, B is Y, etc., making his name a horrible, vomitous concoction of letters. Mind you, in the 2001 remake, you can actually use Rumpelstiltskin backwards to guess his name, probably because no one could figure out or guess that you had to reverse the alphabet. Do you agree with our list? Which insane video game puzzle made you want to rage quit? I didn't think you were that clever. For more top 10s that don't require you to do anything absurd at all, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That's right. I will not. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.